Hello everybody, it is Shad here, back here with another video on the channel. So today we are doing a revamped uh, Koenigsegg Regera review. So here it is right here. A lot of you guys may remember I did my first review on this thing like a couple months back around the time when I started this channel. Um, but since then, this car's had like quite a lot of updates. It's actually probably been one of the most updated cars since I last reviewed it. Um, and it may not look too different at first glance, but there are quite a lot th of things different. So I think they uh, did actually like update the model a little, a little bit because it does look a little bit different. It looks a lot more like textured uh, and stuff like that. But this car's always been quite well known for being a good looking car. And also, again, I forgot to mention, I am borrowing my friend's account, so shout out to him for uh, letting me use this thing today, because without him, this video would not be possible. So yeah, guys, anyways, let's get into the review on this car. So first of all, we're going to review the startup, as always. So I don't think the startup is different to how it used to sound. Let's actually just hear that again, because I think it might sound a little bit different, actually. Okay, I actually do think they... they swapped it out to be honest um it does sound quite a lot different to how it used to sound uh and also a lot of people my uh tesla roadster review was saying this car's a ripoff and stuff like that um i i don't disagree with you guys opinions but this is purely just my perspective on things so uh yeah just keep that in mind um and anyways yeah let's get on with the video so First update that they did on this car was actually updating the uh, light textures on this car. So I never had any problems with the like original light textures, but uh, they did line up updating them a while ago, and they do look very nice. Like the daytime runners, they look sick, dude. They look like stars, like in the headlights. Like it looks very sick. But here's the lights when they're turned on. There's the brake lights for you guys. Uh, and if we go into reverse here, though, there are those are the reverse lights. Uh, and also a fun fact that you may get, that you guys may not know about this car. It's only got one gear, so if we chuck it into manual here and go back, I cannot change it out of first gear. It's it's stuck in first gear. So this car only uses a single gear. As you can see, it does have the pop-up wing too, which does look very nice. Um, and yeah, we're going to test out the uh, horn over here. So very standard horn. Uh, here's all the blinkers going on at once. So I really like how it's like a ring. I don't think it used to be like that, but I'm not too sure. Um, the rear end ones look the same from what I can remember. Also, another thing, I don't think you can actually rev this car anymore. Um, there is a way how you can, but it's not the same as it used to be. So, as you can see, it kind of just locks it there. Uh, so you can't really rev it. But I think if you put it in first gear and then park, um, maybe it's not. Maybe for whole, okay, no. I actually can't remember, that, but there was a way how you could rev it. Um, let me just try and find that out. Was it in reverse, maybe? No, okay, I am not sure, to be honest. There is a way how you can rev it, but it no longer spits flames, unfortunately, when you do. So, that kind of sucks, but um, I guess it's just to make the car overall more realistic and stuff like that. So, yeah, and I swear they've made this car's acceleration faster. Like, I swear it's faster. It doesn't, it feels so much quicker now. Like, when, on my old review, this thing accelerated really slow. Like, it took a good, like, three seconds or so for this thing to actually, like, boost off and start flying. Uh, but now it's, like, even faster. Like, it probably takes, like, about one or two seconds now for it to actually start going. So, I'm gonna actually just go test it out now. So, that's easily, like, a second or maybe two seconds. So, let's go with two seconds there. I, I think they did upgrade the acceleration a little bit more after like complaints about that sort of stuff because I don't think I think a lot of people were kind of mad about it but yeah so I'm pretty sure they fixed that but it's a very chill car to drive I was actually debating about buying this thing back the other day um because the Tesla Roadster is a definitely it's definitely a really good car but the thing is it's just overrated in my opinion and it's kind of just like a boring car to drive because of how like it goes super fast and you always like crash and it's just not a fun it's not a very fun car to drive anymore unless you have like the the five million version uh which is actually pretty fun to drive to be honest um i wouldn't say it's worth it still but it's a lot more fun than the two million dollar one but this car looks a lot better to be honest like especially with all the new updated lights and stuff yeah, this th this thing looks very nice um and also it has a um i think it has a higher top speed than the two million roadster as well which is another good thing uh now for those of you wondering this is the two million version of the rogera uh so it's not the it's not the 1.8 million i think it is uh it's the two million one so 
yeah it's basically the only difference i'm pretty sure is that it has carbon fiber but it actually makes it it actually does make it look a lot better so i definitely recommend saving up the extra for this but yeah anyways we're gonna do a zero to 60 test right here and then we'll do a uh max speed test if we can actually hit the max speed on the runway um so yeah anyways in three two one go so it does take a little bit to get there as usual but that was actually very quick dude this thing could i think this thing can actually pass the roads to now uh the two million one at least which is uh pretty good because it never used to be able to do that but i'm pretty sure since i like i do own the two million roadster and from what i can see here this thing might actually be able to pass it now in like a drag race so i, th I think that they definitely buffed this thing i do think they buffed this thing but tell me what you guys think in the comments um so now we're gonna do a max speed test right here so let's just full floor it over here I do love the wing on this thing though, it looks really nice. It's a lot bigger as well than the Tesla Rooks, the one. Um, so yeah, it goes about 2, we'll round it to 260 max speed. It's a very, uh, it's actually a really fast car. Um, and overall, it's a very good looking car as well. Would I recommend buying it if you have the money? Probably yeah, actually. If you're, if you're not like, if you're not really saving for anything else and you don't really know what else you want to get and all that stuff. I'd honestly re recommend getting this thing. This thing is absolutely... It, this thing is so sick, dude. Uh, let's actually go into the dealership here and review the overall prices and stuff like that and the differences from the uh, two trims. So if I go here, go over to sports cars, uh, where would it be? Um, right here, okay. So the 2017 Skane Rusa is what they call it in-game. So we have the base trim over here, which pretty much looks the exact same. And then we have the, uh, the CF. So the CF trim does make the colors look a bit darker from what I can see here, uh, which I do like a lot more. And it gives it that carbon fiber look as well. But I'm pretty sure it's the only difference. And they, okay, and you can change the rims to the CF as well for the base, which is very good. But yeah, it's actually a very nice looking car. It looks good in a lot of colors too. That's the thing that I like the most about it. So the CF trim, which is the carbon fiber uh, trim, costs $2 million. And this one costs $1.8 million. So not a big it's not really that big of a price jump it's honestly just more worth it getting this one though if you don't like the roadster this is basically like the alternative version of the two million roadster if you kind of want a roadster but with like not really like not if you want a roadster but like if you want a fast car that actually has an engine in it uh then that's probably the way to go otherwise the speed tail so review on this coming soon by the way um but yeah overall uh that's this entire review um, tell me what you guys think on the car in the comments. I'm open to all suggestions, like, all, uh, people's opinions and stuff like that. Like, I'm not gonna deny the fact that this car is a ripoff, but it, it overall just depends on what you think, to be honest. Um, but how much would I rate this car out of 10? Probably, like, a 7, 7.5 out of 10 will give it. Um, so pretty, pretty solid score right there for this thing. Uh, the the Koenigsegg Regera and anyways, yeah, that's gonna basically be it for today's video So if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and anyways, see you later and goodbye <laughs>